Um, while nobody's here and the kids are in the car, I'm gonna do a quick, <laughs> quick update. I have so many beginnings of like, um, I guess you would call them log trees where I start it and the day gets crazy and I don't finish it. Um, so we have a lot going on today. Me and the kids are about to do a Walmart pickup. Joel and some family friends are on their way right now to go. Um, there's just like a lot of appliances and scrap metal here. So they took a load to the scrap yard. Um, and when they come down the mountain, there's a feed, uh, farm and feed store that we love. And they are going to pick up the hog panels because they were too big to fit in our working truck right now. And then also some beginning uh, feed for the chicks and pigs. We found some cheaper somewhere else, but it's like an hour away. So we're just gonna get this since the pigs will be here like real soon. Um, but I'll show you what we've done so far real quick. So I have um, some footage from before, but this has just been like thinned out. So over here, there's gonna be like 10 pig pens, I think. Um, so it starts over there and whoa, all this, they're going to rotate every week. Um, and it goes all the way down to the last tree over there. And, um, this is big enough for a truck to drive through. And over here, it was totally full. Um, the first pins will start here and there will be two here and they're for training the piglet. The first one is and then the second one will actually be where they end up so they'll go from here across they'll rotate around come back this is gonna make you really dizzy and then end up over here and then they'll be slaughtered from there ah! um and then over there is the chicken coop so we're using this side this side has been um crushed by a tree in a storm and it is like past repair so eventually I'm just gonna cut that side down and maybe make the run longer or build another coop I'm not really sure yet but on the other side of that will be the garden beds and I will start that uh, later I don't know when okay quick update because I'm gonna try and keep up with this vlog today um we went my giant thumb um, we went into the groceries they were taking the first load to the scrapyard when we got back and then they were gonna stop and get all the other stuff so we came back home to put the groceries away um and i'll just show you a little bit of what we have going on so here are my goals for this year um and i'm sharing this because because they're my goals and they're what we're working on well like one of us in the family um it's going to be what I make videos on. So the first goal is we want to start and um, successfully grow our homestead. Um, I am trying to learn to cook more from scratch and to minimize waste. Um, for one, because I just think it's a valuable skill. Um, we don't want to be totally self-sufficient or self-sustaining, whatever you call it. We don't want to live like off-grid. We're more like halfway homesteaders. Like we want to grow our own food and be as healthy as we can, but also we like ice cream and um like McDonald's and stuff like that. <laughs> so we're not the people to watch if you're wanting like all organic. Um, we don't do a lot of essential oils. We're just that's just not us. We're like halflayers. <laughs> But I am trying to learn to cook from scratch. I'm trying to learn to compost and garden. Um, just be more organized and be more responsible. And um, the only debt that we currently have is our house, but we're trying to do like the cash envelope system and um, just all around, I don't know, a better a homemaker. That's my goal this year. Um, so here's what I have going on today. This, <laughs> ignore this mess. I'm just putting away groceries and everything takes me like 30 years longer. Um, this is my, she what? She put something on the table? Yeah. 
Okay, well, I'll come help you in just a second. She spilled water on the Play Doh. Okay, well, I'll come help you. Just like, well, I want to make it like hand. Okay, well, I'm coming in there. Give me just a second. I want to be ticky. Okay, well, I'm coming. Give so, I went to the Play Doh. And then, add milk to the Play Doh. Don't add milk to the Play Doh. That's not a good idea. Did you already do that? Okay, well, I'll come help you. Give me just a second. And also, this is real life. Our dishwasher is having issues. It's been out. That's like vegetables and stuff. There's a potty training chair in here. Um, yeah, this is just how we live. It's just real life stuff. But um, So, I just fed my starter, and I'm so proud because this um, is my first time ever doing sourdough. And I think it's like... Maybe a week old, maybe two weeks old. But I want to be better at using the discard. I haven't been. Um, I've only used it twice. But um, yeah, I'm very excited about it. We made a sourdough skillet last night for dinner from Farmhouse on Boone. <laughs> this is my disgusting compost. I don't really know what I'm doing. Currently, every time I clean out my um leftovers in the fridge I just throw it in this because I don't know what I'm doing so that's my goal for today is maybe research it a little bit more I also have my pepper seeds that we're growing today because um according to like when to do it from the last frost which is all I have to go off of because I've never grown anything before like a vegetable or anything outside this week is my day to do it so we're gonna be doing that a little bit i have these peppers and i have whoa tripping over junk in the floor these peppers they're playing with slime and play-doh making an absolute mess why are you doing that were you trying to turn your play-doh into slime that's not Okay, this is real life. We soaked the seeds. Okay, we're not gonna have a meltdown. Okay, that's just not. Welcome to real life. And this is our homeschool stuff that we are starting up next week. So, be right back. I'm gonna clean up this disaster. Here's the plan right now. Simon's taking us upstairs to play. He's being a very good helper. That's why he's wearing a superhero mask because he's a super brother, right? No, because I'm trying to buy what I need to buy. Oh, okay. I am neglecting the water that's pouring all over the place because I'm not sure if these seeds being wet are going to ruin it. So I'm <laughs> dropping everything that's going on right now to um, plant these peppers. It's only one pack of seeds, thank goodness. But still, I need to get going with this so that they're not totally destroyed. And why not show? I've never done this before, so why not make a video about it? This could be like what not to do. I don't know. And I'm not really set up because I'm trying to do this in a hurry. So I'm going to get my kitchen spoon here. And this is going to make a mess. I'm sure of it. So one guy I saw not doing that. Um, he said just to... Fill them all in with the dirt. And this for sure is making a big mess. Here, I'm going to move the camera down. Okay. He said just to fill. <laughs> Can anything go right? So, this is kind of like how the other day was for me. <laughs> I ran out of gas on the way to work. It's time for story time with Kayla. Um, my fourth graders actually, when I taught in public school, I would do story time and tell them like all kinds of crazy stories. And they would call it um, story time with Uncle Noose. They said I was like an old uncle that would be sitting on a porch telling stories. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. My phone's gonna die all of a sudden. <laughs> when I was on my way to work, um, Wednesday, I ran out of gas. Like, 
full on, and I know people are gonna laugh and be like, you're an idiot, but I didn't know my car would like totally shut off, like no power steering. I also didn't, we hadn't gone grocery shopping yet, so I didn't have anything for the kids for lunch or breakfast, so I was planning on stopping, but my car ran out of gas, so I couldn't stop. Um, police officer came, my mother-in-law brought me some, how many do I put in each one? Sow seeds indoors a quarter of an inch deep, but like how many? You're just, I'm just going to read this because I don't know. This remarkably dependent and highly productive variety bears creamy yellow eight inch bell peppers that hold their color for weeks before turning first orange and then red. They're best when yellow or orange and have extended harvest period. But how many seeds do I put in here? Hold on, I'm gonna Google it. Okay, so Google told me one seed. <laughs> I'm doing two because I don't have enough containers for one, I don't think. So actually what I'm doing is one, two, one, two, <laughs> because that makes sense to me for some reason. No, I'm just doing two. Um, anyways, ran out of gas. My boss bought us breakfast. So once I was going into work, I had like a couple minutes. I thought, oh, I'll stop at the grocery store and I'll get us uh, some Lunchables. So uh, my kids aren't super fast walkers. And so I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna put Esther in the buggy and Simon, you can walk. But because of my arm, I couldn't put her in a seat. So I put her in the big part of the buggy. And these particular buggies, because it was a grocery store, I suppose, have like the dip in the front so it's lower and so she was leaning over it and I was like hey Esther you need to sit down but as I was saying that someone came around the corner and so I stopped the buggy and Esther flipped forward flipped out of the buggy smashed her head on this person's buggy and um hey keep your grubby mitts off of this <laughs> and her body slammed to the tile floor and I felt like the worst mother ever. I just started crying my eyes out. People started gathering. I was like, all right, they're gonna call child birth. I just heard this. I'm like, I'm a good mom. I'm happy to my day. She's, she's totally fine. Um, she has like a tiny bruise, totally fine. But not yet, buddy. You can help me with the other ones. I just want to get this done quickly, okay? Anyways, so that was a day and a half. Um, okay, so this is how these look. I have one tray done, and this is what I'm using. It's a special seed starting mix because from what I read, you do not want to use potting soil or like soil from the ground because it could mold. Um, I'm going to keep these up here. I'm gonna water them in just a second. And um, I have this many more seeds, so I'm going to start a new, another one of these. Hello, everybody. It is Friday night. Yeah. And we're over here picking up the oven, but we're waiting on for the oven out of Mary's old house to get to my parents, but we're waiting on someone to help. So we came out here for just a second. And I thought I would just show what we're doing. So I kind of started on this. These, I don't know if you can see the outline, is one of the old raised beds. And then here's another one. And they go two, 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 all the way down. So um, what I'm trying to do, not right this second, but <clears throat> is clear them out and line them. Well, clear them out, just rake them line them with cinder blocks because we have a bunch on the property and lay cardboard boxes over them for um until the frost is i think it's in like five weeks hopefully kill all that and then go get some compost and maybe fill it up to here with compost i'm not real sure um and then this will be the garden and this bed will be the last garden bed here and then we're gonna start the meat birds right here in a tractor. 
and rotate whoa them all the way down there up around the back of the house and then end over here that's not going to focus for the first round and if we have time for a second round we're going to use some of this area over here i think but and eventually in in the next month i want to turn that into a compost bin but i'm not sure how long that will take this is one half and i don't think we're saving this we're not going to try to save this one are we probably not but we are going to save like this was mary's grandpa's um see he was a pig farmer actually and jones was her last name so we're gonna take some stuff like that off of it but i think a tree fell on it and um it's just not gonna not gonna make it so this one goes all the way to right here and then there's a line of chicken wire through there but this side is holding up fine so we cleared off all the um like vines and overgrowth and it i think it was a little bit worse in there um dave joel's dad had made a watering system so we'll check the line and make sure that's okay make any repairs if we need to i think there are a couple parts where the chicken wire at the top is falling in and then the only thing here is this window needs to be replaced and the door frame is needs out <laughs> stuck on the right this needs to be replaced but um i guess we'll fix these too but these are all intact <laughs> i've been shoveling out um chicken poop that's like five years old this all seems pretty good i might just give it a good cleaning and make sure it's 100 percent predator proof and then the door is still good still locks not with a gimpy hand and then back here we'll clear this all out um just to make it look a little bit cleaner and we can walk through it there is like an old i don't know what kind of fence that is barbed wire fence and then you can see right on the other side we've set up the fiberglass post for the electric fence and so, um, the pigs will be right there for the first two rounds. Whoa, just almost got twigged in the face. I'm gonna walk around this way. So pretty. I don't know why I'm saying that. So, if you're looking right here, you can see the lines of posts. That will be the first electric fence pin that the, ki the kids <laughs> we're not putting our kids out here sometimes i feel like i want to but we're not going to um but the pigs not the kids go into so right here we're kind of like at a not an impasse you can go straight and it will curve around back there i've showed this a few times but or and this is wide enough for a vehicle to go through like a little samurai or joel's tahoe <laughs> Hi! Yep, the friends are here. And then here's, <laughs> here's the piglet's first little pen. Joel built me a fence. Um, yeah. Good progress, good progress. And then all this is going to be six more pins rotated weekly depending on how much they disturb the soil and this was a monster log pile that i tripped over and broke my wrist. life is happening.